Hey, I'm Chris Lee, and I'm going to talk a little bit about SUP. Um, first of all, I used to live right here, actually about right there. And I used to paddle right here. And as you can see, it was amazing. Um, paddling outrigger was the greatest workout that I've ever done, and it was really the main thing that got me to Hawaii. And then I moved back to the desert, mostly because of this Australian girl. And uh, <laughs> I miss the ocean a lot. Uh, I'm, I was born and raised here, I have a ton of family here, uh, so I love it, but I really did miss paddling. I did find out that there are clubs that paddle outrigger out of Tempe Town Lake, and I went down uh, a couple times, but practices were too early and it was just too much coordination. And I wasn't gonna be able to drag one of these around by myself, about 400 pounds. So for a long time I didn't paddle. And then recently, SUP. Well, what's SUP? It stands for Stand Up Paddling. Um, what that is, is basically you have a big, giant board that you stand on, you have a big old paddle, and you move yourself around the water. Sounds really sexy, right? Well, it's a blast. Um, there's just something about being on the water that makes everything better for me. You know, it's calming, it's fun. Uh, never being an endurance athlete, paddling somehow just tricks me to want to go longer and longer and longer, and I love it. Uh, it's also great to do with family and friends. You know, you can bring everybody out, swap out runs, throw your kids, even your dog on the front of the board, and just all paddle together, and hanging out on shore, you know, that's also a blast. I also love that uh, it gets you outdoors. You know, it gives you a reason to explore our state, you know, experience the natural beauty that we have here, and then, um, you know, for your vacations and travel, you can even find other great places to go paddle. I also love that you can do it anytime. You know, you don't need five other people, you don't need anybody. So for me, you know, I end up paddling most probably at night. Uh, after my kids go down, about 9 o'clock, I'll head out to Tempe Town Lake, get out there, it's gorgeous. I'll put in a workout, and it's just awesome. I also love that anybody can do it. So my 7-year-old is a great paddler already, and right here, you can see my mom and my father-in-law, and they're fans too. Um, it can be anything from a leisurely stroll around the lake to a brutal workout. It's completely up to you. Uh, as far as the workout, <laughs> it hits pretty much your entire body. You know, your core, feet, legs, hips, glutes, shoulders, arms, and it can be as, as tough as you want it to be. Um, you know, you control how hard you go. Uh, so how do you do it? The main things that you need is you need a board and a paddle, and that's, that's really it. So once you have those, you, know, you can chuck the board on your, the roof of your car, throw a couple things in there, and for me, I can be on the water in 14 minutes. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in terms of technique, there's different schools out there, but some of the common principles are that you're not going to use your arms, uh, you're going to keep your arms pretty straight, and then you're going to use your, your torso and your core to actually perform the stroke. So, you know, that's how you're going to get a lot of that, a lot of that, uh, that overall uh, activity. Um, so how could you guys do it? What's the easiest way to do that? Well, at Tempe Town Lake, they, they actually rent boards on the south side of the lake, just west of the Mill Avenue Bridge, for about 25 bucks an hour. Um, everything you need, you just go out there and, and you can be on. There are also other folks that do intro classes and rent board time on the outer lakes. So if you're one of those people that says, oh, I don't want to go to Tempe Town Lake, there's a lot of other beautiful places you can go paddle. So if you end up liking it, you know, the, get your own equipment. One of the things you want to do is stay legal. So you're either going to need probably a, a Tempe Town Lake permit, which is an annual permit, $50 a year, $25 for Tempe residents, or you're going to need this Tonto Daily Pass. And that's $6 per car, and that's good at most of the outer lakes. You're also going to need a PFD, or a personal flotation device. And that's, you know, like a life jacket or one of these uh, waist belts. Um, for us, also a, a leash counts. If you have a leash on, they count your board as a PFD. Kids, though, they have to wear the PFD. Um, you, with all this stuff, you're going to need to get it to the lake, so you're also going to need to get a rack. And there's great hard racks out there like Yakima and Thule, and they have sub attachments. Or for a lot less money, you can get a soft rack that just goes right on the roof of your car, and you're definitely going to need the cargo straps. Uh, as far as boards, that's a, a slippery slope there. There's so many cool boards, and they get really expensive. You know, they can zoom right by 2,500 bucks for a board. But you know, we've got race boards, boards built for surfing, all-around boards, and even inflatable boards. Uh, if you're interested in it, though, I would say keep an eye out for sub packages. Uh, if you look, you can find a board and a paddle and oftentimes even other stuff for under a thousand bucks. So that's what I would look for. Um, that's about it for me. If, if you're interested in this at all, I'd love to talk with you up top, or you can hit our blog at azsup.net or connect with us online. 
Um, we love connecting with people and just getting people out in the water to try it out. Who knows, maybe you'll get addicted and you'll go do the Molokai Channel with me as, as that's my goal, 32 miles from Molokai to Oahu. Thanks a lot.